11% of people on vacation at a hotel room have found hidden cameras in their accommodation. Imagine how much higher the number would be if more people knew what they were looking for and how to do it. So how do you detect these hidden cameras? Let's say you've arrived at a random location for your vacation. You're renting out a lovely apartment. Take out your phone. It'll be an essential and beneficial source for finding clues of hidden cameras. Turn on your Bluetooth. Take a walk around the apartment, your room, bathroom, kitchen, and the passageway to the apartment. Monitor your phone to see if you can detect any unknown devices that appear on your screen. If something comes up, that's a good indication for a further thorough search. Even if you don't pick up anything on the Bluetooth, it's still a good idea to thoroughly search your accommodation anyway. Go to each room, take a close look around, and check the corners of the walls and ceiling, keeping an eye out for any suspicious holes. Holes are an unlikely place to find any cameras, unless you're in a haunted house from an old horror film, but it's still a good idea to check, regardless of how obvious it sounds. Now inspect all the movable objects, lamps, radios, television, shelves, and whatever else you can find sitting around. Check to see if they're facing at a strange angle, like if they were aimed towards your bed or bathroom. Once you've inspected everything with the lights on, turn them off. Some cameras may have small LED lights that can be in a range of colors. Go over the same area again, looking out for any suspicious lights. Make sure to check that the fire alarm is just a fire alarm. It's a common hiding place for cameras, as the fire alarm always has a blinking light. Approach the air vents and inspect closely. They would be capable of hiding larger cameras inside. Now that we've done a quick look in the dark, get a flashlight, or use your phone's flashlight, and shine that light around the room for an even more thorough search. Carefully look for any tiny glints of a camera screen. The reflection of the light will be minimal, so pay close attention to anything that glistens. Focus carefully on the inanimate objects in the room, reviewing every angle closely, even the susceptible plants. You can also utilize the selfie mode of your phone to detect infrared light sources in the dark, as it doesn't filter them out. These light signals can be found from night vision cameras, which rely on their infrared waves to detect heat signatures when it's dark. Put your phone on selfie mode, leave the light off, and look around the room slowly while focusing on the screen. It'll be awkward moving around the dark room while looking at the screen in selfie mode, but try to keep an eye out for purple or white lights on the screen. Now that we've checked for cameras, it's time to review the mirrors. Cameras could be behind them, and someone could also be watching from the other side. First, determine whether they're built into the wall or can be adjusted. If the mirror is semi-transparent, it will be built into the wall. These aren't common in your bedroom, typically, which would lead to suspicion. You can do a simple test to check the mirror. Simply press your fingertip onto the glass, pushing firm enough to ensure that there will be a fingerprint as you move your finger away. Focus closely on the fingerprint. If there is a small gap between the fingerprint and the mirror where the glass should be, then it's just a mirror. On a semi-transparent mirror, there will be no gap. The fingernail test is used similarly, detecting if there is a glass gap between the end of the fingernail and the mirror. However, both tests may be complex depending on the lighting in the room and the position the mirror is facing, so it's not a definitive test in all situations. Semi-transparent mirrors are generally built into the wall to ensure they work without being detected. The wall must completely cover the edges. The lighting on the hidden side requires a brighter light source than your side of the wall for it to work. Put your eyes right up to the glass to further confirm what kind of mirror you're dealing with. Cup your hands around your eyes, ensuring there is as little amount of light from your side, and look through to the other side. If there is a slight indication of light behind the mirror, or if you can see outlines of objects behind it, you have a semi-transparent mirror. A semi-transparent mirror will have an empty wall behind it, so another method to check is to simply tap the glass. The sound of tapping on a semi-transparent mirror will produce an empty sound. If privacy is still a considerable concern after learning how easy it can be to hide cameras, further options are accessible. You have many options for applications available on your phone. Some will review the Wi-Fi network 
to determine any suspicious behavior in the area, as all cameras and surveillance equipment will connect to the Wi-Fi. These apps help you detect the concerning names of devices and identify the brand and model of the devices, providing further confirmation there is a hidden camera nearby. With the many application devices available, many anti-bug detectors can find hidden cameras, the body of wires, GPS, etc. There is a wide range of these detectors to choose from, depending on how much you want to spend. Security cameras have come a long way in recent history. In the world we live in now, you can find a camera in any shape and size. Anyone can purchase or modify a camera, and even place a camera where they like on their property. They are so advanced and inconspicuous that one could be watching you right now. The first surveillance cameras were installed in 1927. From then, surveillance in all forms has become more prominent throughout the world. The security camera's evolution has developed significantly. More so recently since the 1990s, when the development and variations have increased each year enormously. The application and the number of security cameras in public areas have grown so much that in 2021, there were estimated to be 1 billion security cameras worldwide. And considering most people have a phone or a computer device that more than likely has a camera attached, you can assume there will soon be more cameras than human beings on this planet. And if that's not concerning enough, there are also more secretive cameras out there that you're not even aware of, inconspicuously watching your every move while on holiday, at work, at the gym, or even in your own home. Cameras today are so advanced that there are many out in the streets with facial recognition technology. Some are computer controlled, identifying an object, tracking it on its system, and categorizing the objects in its field of view. The definition in these cameras is so powerful, they can zoom in and focus on the smallest of objects. So, when accessing an ATM, be sure to always cover the keypad when entering your PIN code. Hidden cameras are used discreetly, recording people while they're unaware. They can be wireless and fit inside all kinds of small spaces, like fire alarms, televisions, and many more objects that could fit a camera as small as a USB slot making them all the more difficult to detect. Some places to be wary of hidden cameras are when you're moving into a new rental accommodation and when you're on vacation. There have been reports of cameras found in hotels and many other forms of accommodation. It's possible to find places all around the world with hidden devices. In some countries and regions, it's legal for a proprietor to have hidden cameras and other devices on their premises. But just because they may be within their legal rights in some instances to monitor their property, you still have the rights of your privacy and safety. You also have the option to talk to your host or landlord and question them as to whether there are hidden cameras. If you feel confident in doing this, when you pose the question to them, look closely to see how they react, taking careful attention to see how they respond and in what manner. If they're shocked by the question or simply don't say a word, it may be an indication to leave the premises immediately. But if you don't want that awkward exchange, we hope that we've provided enough tips to help you where we can. Hotel star ratings aren't always reliable as the rating systems vary between countries. In Italy, for example, a hotel can be given five stars just for having a 24-hour reception desk. Receptionists that speak three languages instead of using stars look at ratings or reviews instead. Booking late can also get you the best deals. If your stay is not urgent, try booking a room on the day of the stay. If the hotel isn't full, you'll likely get a discount. Hotel managers reduce room rates last minute to fill them. It's usually better to book directly with the hotel. Third-party websites are often given worse rooms or whatever is left over. Hotels are also likely to offer a reduced rate if you book directly. This is because third-party sites charge a hotel fee. Once you're at the check-in desk, it's likely that the hotel staff already recognizes you. Many hotels, especially higher-end ones, will do a little research of their guests' social media. While this seems a bit creepy, it's only so that they can see who you are to make your stay more comfortable. If your key has a magnetic strip on it, make sure not to put it near your cell phone or wallet. A strong magnet like this one in your phone can erase your keycard, meaning that you won't be able to get into your room. Now you're all checked in, let's head up to your room. They're watching you when you're in the bedroom and when you're in the bathroom. 
No, I'm not talking about your three-year-old kids. Uh Uh-uh. One of the last things you think about when going on vacation is if the room you're staying in has hidden cameras planted all over the place. For starters, look in the most obvious spots in your hotel room to see if you can find any hidden cameras. According to some experts, if you can't find anything in plain sight, then using your smartphone is enough for a basic sweep. Every camera has a lens and all lenses reflect light. So, a quick way to check for hidden cameras is to close all the curtains in the room and turn off the lights. Use your phone's flashlight to point it at potential places or objects a hidden camera might be at. One of the apparent spots is the smoke detector on the ceiling. Grab a chair and point the light straight at it and try to see if there is any red or blue light reflected. You'll have to do it slowly since the light needs to strike the lens at the correct angle for you to see a reflection. Even a painting in the room can be a potential nest for a hidden camera. Other objects can be lamps, a hole in the wall, or somewhere inside the closet. Another creepy place is the bathroom mirror. This one is a tricky spot, so you'll have to be patient when inspecting it. You can also use your phone camera to spot surveillance cameras that spy on you at night. These secret cameras emit infrared lights that the human eye can't see so that they can work at night. You'll also have to turn off the lights and put the camera in selfie mode. The rear-facing camera on most smartphones has an infrared filter, but the front one doesn't. You can try pointing a TV remote at the front-facing camera and press on any of the buttons to see it yourself. If you see a bright red light on your screen, that means it's working. All you have to do is move your camera in the dark to see if you can find a bright light around. It'll be good to do a second sweep to make sure you didn't miss anything. One of the best things you can do is download an app that shows you what devices are currently connected to the Wi-Fi you're using. It can show what smartphone, laptop, smart TV, and in the worst case, hidden cameras are connected. A radio frequency scanner can detect a wireless camera in the room, even if it's connected to its own Wi-Fi. It might be challenging though, because of many wireless devices overcrowding the airwaves. You can pick up random signals even if you turn off all your devices and any wireless emitting signals. Another technique you can use is turning off the Wi-Fi when you enter the hotel room. Most of the cameras are hooked up to the Wi-Fi, so they won't be functioning anymore. If you get a call from the reception saying that the Wi-Fi is down in the room, that might be a red flag. There's no reason for them to know if the Wi-Fi is purposely turned off. It could mean that the cameras are on the local Wi-Fi. When you connect to your hotel Wi-Fi for the first time, be careful about sharing your personal data. Now, how about the room in general? If you're not happy with it, you can easily request a change. If there are other available rooms, the manager will be happy to help. Once you're settled in, you'll want to head into the bathroom to check out all those samples. But while you might think you're being sneaky by grabbing the free shampoos, hotels actually want you to take them. The items contain the hotel's logo, so you're basically giving them free advertising if you put them in your home. The robes and towels are a different story though. Many hotels are now adding radio frequency chips so they can track stolen items. Toothpaste is one item you probably won't find in the hotel's bathroom. For budget hotels, it's often too expensive to order as it's classified as a medical supply. For luxury hotels, it's the opposite. They often can't find a toothpaste manufacturer that's fancy enough to be present in their rooms. You may also notice a seemingly random phone next to the toilet, but it's actually a requirement from the AAA for hotels to receive a four diamond rating. It does also act as a safety feature. If you slip on the wet floor or get stuck in the bathroom for some reason, you can easily call for help. Now you're ready to kick back on the bed and rent a movie. But don't try to be sneaky and claim you clicked on it by accident so you don't have to pay. The workers at the hotel's front desk can actually see how long you watched a movie for. So if you clicked out for a few seconds, they'll believe you, but not if you watched it until the end. Fancy a drink while you watch your movie? Make sure to check the seals on those mini bar drinks. Sneaky guests often drink from the bottles and refill them with water. This way they waive the fee and you may be charged if housekeeping hadn't noticed. Yeah, a can of soda might cost you double what you'd pay at the gas station, but you don't want to get put on the hotel's naughty list. Carefully arranging your used towels isn't the best thing to do in a hotel. You're just not helping. The general rule is, 
dump them somewhere like the bathroom floor or in the bathtub. Then the staff can see that they need to change the towels. If you keep them all nice and folded, the staff may just get it wrong and leave them as they are, thinking that they're still fresh. You're on a low-budget trip and you brought along some appliances so you can cook right here in the hotel. Not a big deal, but if there's only one outlet and you want to boil some eggs in your electric kettle, maybe don't. First, you never know what capacity the outlet has. It might even set off the hotel's fire alarm. Just stick to sandwiches or something. Pick up any paper lying around. Wipe up that coffee you spilled on the floor. Don't make the bed though. The staff's gonna replace the sheets no matter what. Plus, if you make the bed right after you get up, you're just actually creating a lovely dark environment for tiny dust mites. Always look for hotels that include breakfast. It's usually way more expensive to have breakfast at a nearby restaurant. Plus, you most likely wouldn't know where to go. Much better to hit the hotel's breakfast buffet, coffee, cheese, ham, toast, fruit. If you play your cards right, you'll be too full for lunch. Of course you can boil water for some ramen noodles, but if you feel like a slice of fresh, crusty toast, never try to make it with an iron. Sounds crazy, but some people have even tried heating up their frozen pizza with a hairdryer. What happened? They ended up having to go look for another hotel and an actual restaurant. This one sounds hilarious, but still, no one should ever be boiling their socks or any other item of clothing in the kettle that comes in the hotel room. Some hotel managers claim to have seen it happen. Just send your clothes off to the hotel's cleaning service people. Wow, if you're a lucky owner of a brand new iPhone 12, or you've just updated your operating system to iOS 14, don't be afraid of that creepy green or orange dot that pops up in the upper right corner. Green dot shows you're using your camera, and orange indicates you're using the microphone. Let's say you have TikTok in the background that might passively use both camera and mic. These dots will show it. It can help control the battery life. To make your iPhone louder, go to Settings, Music, and find the equalizer. It's called EQ in the menu. Late night option will make your phone about 20% louder than it used to be. You can also create a unique vibration for any of your contacts. Go to Settings, Sounds, and open the ringtone settings. You usually have the default vibration, but if you scroll down a bit, you're going to see the Custom section. Tap any rhythm you like and save it. You can set it for any of your contacts. If customized vibration isn't enough and you still miss your granny's calls, try to customize the flash. Turn it on as an extra notification for incoming calls. Go to General Settings, choose the Accessibility section, and head to Hearing. Turn on the LED flash for alerts. You're never going to miss that call again. If you press the space button and start sliding, you'll have a cursor. It can be handy if you want to find a typo or correct some word in the notes or whatever text you're dealing with. Now, if you typed a very long message, but it turns out you need to get rid of it, you can literally shake it off. Just shake the phone to undo the typing. Whenever you need to choose more than one icon, tap and hold only one and, with the second finger, add all the other icons you need. This one's not going to work if you have an iPhone 6 or older. The newest iPhones have a super convenient feature that is helpful when you need to go from one application to another. Look at that line at the bottom of the screen. Slide left or right and find the app you need. No more double tapping and notification center. If you like falling asleep to your favorite music or to another YouTube video, just like I do, go to Clock. Tap the timer and select When the Time Ends section. Scroll down until you see Stop Playing button. This feature shuts down all the media apps, such as music, any windows that play sounds or video, and even the YouTube app. Pretty handy if you ever woke up at 3 a.m. in the middle of some random video that was auto-played. Yeah. We're all used to messengers, but iMessages are fun. Press the send button to add different wow effects to your message. The bubble section has four features. Invisible ink makes it impossible to read the message unless you wipe it with a finger. Slide the finger from right to left and back to kind of clear it. With the gentle effect, 
The letters seem really tiny at the start, but then they grow larger. The loud effect, vice versa, makes them pop at the start so they appear way larger, but the size goes back to normal in a few seconds. The slam effect speaks for itself. The message literally slams the screen. Tap the right button called the screen effects. It's fun too. For example, it has echo effects, so your friend's screen's gonna be overwhelmed with echoing texts. Slide right for a lot more different effects. There's definitely one for touching text you're about to send. The iPhone font has different sizes as well. To make it bigger or smaller, go to the Display and Brightness section in the setting. Tap the text size and adjust it the way you like. You can take a selfie not only with the volume button on your phone, but simply by hitting that button on your headphones. This hack is for iPhone users, but many Androids can use it too. Mind that it usually works with original headphones. iPhones may not have the most durable batteries, but they beat everyone when it comes to photo quality. Turn on the grid in the camera settings. Go to General. Choose Camera to enable the grid. It can help you make better compositions in the photo. If you like typing with one hand, it's probably high time you set the right keyboard. While typing, hold the globe button. Three keyboards will appear. The one on the left is used whenever you type holding your phone in the left hand. The one in the middle is for both hands, and the one on the right is for typing with the right hand only. If you like writing long, romantic letters in your notes, but don't want anyone to read them, set a pass to any of your notes. There are two ways to do that, depending on your iPhone model. For iPhone 6, you gotta slide from right to left and see three icons, lock, folder, and bin. Use the bin if the romantic letter is bad, and the lock to protect it from peaky eyes. Set the pass, but make sure you actually remember it. You can't delete it. If this didn't work, just tap and hold the note itself, and you'll see the password bar in the drop-down menu. Set the pass, and nobody's gonna know about the romantic letters to Jane you're writing at night. Newest models of iPhone support the coolest feature ever. Now you can make a screenshot of the whole browser page in one file. To do this, press the volume up button plus the power button. If you need to find some special word combination while you're reading an online article, go to the search bar and type the word you're interested in. You're going to see three sections, Google search, bookmarks and history, and on this page. Tap the last one. The word you need is going to be highlighted in yellow. Plus, there will be a special navigation bar on the bottom with the arrows up and down to look for the keyword easily. Don't forget to refresh your iPhone's RAM every now and again. It can help your device work better and faster. To do that, you gotta drill down deep. Go to Setting, General, Accessibility, Assistive Touch, and turn it on. Press plus, then minus, and then the power button. You'll see the power off bar. Press the assistive touch and hold the home button. The RAM's refresh now. If you see the enter pass notification after you did it, it means you did it all right. Assistive touch can also help you set new functions to simple taps. Go to settings, general, accessibility, and in the assistive touch section, you can change any commands in the custom actions menu. For a double tap, I chose the screenshot, since a combination of home plus power button seems a bit inconvenient. To make a screenshot, tap the accessibility menu circle twice. People with iPhones don't need a separate app for QR readers, since all the iPhones have them built in. Turn on the camera and point it to the code. You'll see the pop-up window on the top of the screen. Tap the window, and you'll go straight to whatever link the QR code had. If it doesn't work, enable the Scan QR Codes function in the camera settings. You can actually set any song you like for the alarm clock. Go to the alarm and press Edit in the right upper corner. Tap the time you want to change the melody for. In the Sound section, choose Pick a Song and go for any song added to your library. Disclaimer: Your best love song will probably turn into your worst enemy after a couple of mornings you use it as an alarm. 
One of the most hated problems of all iPhone users is when you run out of memory. Even if you delete the photos, there's still not enough space. Go to Settings, iPhone Storage, and make sure that recently deleted photos are actually deleted. If not, delete them in the storage sections. Note that your messages can contain heavy files, so you can restrict how long the message can be stored. In the message history, tap the Keep Messages button. It's forever by default, but you can keep them for one year or even only 30 days. If you deal with many documents to be signed, this hack can help you sign them without even printing and scanning. Take a screenshot of the document you want to sign, then tap the screenshot to make changes. Tap the plus button in the right lower corner. Choose the signature button in the toolbar, and here we go! Sign the document with your finger and save the changes by pressing the button marked Done. And so are we.